are willing to suck at something for 100 days, you will be better eventually than most of the people. Why? Because the competition is so low. People will try things for a week, maybe a month, and they give up. But if you don't, if you don't give up, you will be better than most of the people at anything. For example, you want to change and you want to meditate and you want to manifest things into your life and you don't see the results yet. So you give up. You give up after a short period of time. If you persisted enough in it, you will achieve it. It's inevitable. You will have it. So don't let people tell you that you should just try it for a week, for a month, give it at least a hundred days and I guarantee you that mostly and most of the time you will succeed and you will have what you want so for example when I started meditating I was so bad at it I was actually questioning myself am I doing it right or wrong and to be honest I never actually got the right answer but believe me even if you are doing it wrong when you do it wrong for for long enough you're actually you'll actually get it right one time and from that one time you will do it right all the time so you have to sometimes suck at something in order to be good at it you have to be bad at it in order to get eventually good at it most people are not willing to suck at things most people are not willing to look at the you know the bad maybe results at first because they feel like they are hurting their egos and believe it or not the ego is one of your biggest enemies because sometimes your ego will make you believe that you don't have to continue your pride is too high you can't afford losing and i'm not saying here losing you can't lose if you don't win. you can't lose you will eventually win so going back to the metaphysical aspect of it you are training the muscle of the mind per se so when you are trying to manifest something you are actually training the mind to visualize you are training your mind to visualize what you want and to get the feelings that you will get if it's already a present fact but you are not willing enough to sit down and try to figure out how will that make you feel? How would it make you feel? You don't even know. And sometimes you don't even know what you want. You just kind of want it. If you want it like badly, you have a burning desire towards it. You would already have feelings toward the thing when someone like mention it. Anybody mentions that thing that you want, you would feel, how would it feel when you have it, right? That's if you really want it. If you kind of want it, uh, I'm not sure about that. So here is my challenge for you. The challenge is this, 400 days. Imagine what you want vividly and preferably make it at first something easy. I told you about the ladder exercise. Now take it a step further. Maybe you want a present. A present like a box of chocolate, right? Imagine that every single day. And I guarantee you, like, maybe from the second day you will get it. Maybe you are, you are that good and maybe you are not. But if you never try, then you'll never know. So you got to try that. And when you try it, you will know the uh, level of training that you are in the level of consciousness that you are in. You are actually evolving. So don't look at it like it's a bad thing. It's a good thing. You are conscious of your unconscious thoughts. So the next step is you got to change it, right? So here is the thing for a hundred days. Like, let's start slow. Take something like a box of chocolate and imagine it and imagine that you have that box of chocolate. Like someone gave it to you imagine that every day before you go to sleep and sleep in the feeling that you have that box of chocolate 
And believe me, you will be surprised when you see that your thoughts and emotions are making the difference in the real world. So try this exercise. I'm doing it with you. I will tell you in the next video a lot of cool stuff that you can try. And I will tell you in the future videos the scientific evidence behind manifestation, behind things like the revision technique. <clears throat> and, excuse me, most importantly, about being in the present moment. Why is it so important and why all religions and all doctrines talked about it? I will tell you about that scientifically proven. And we will go deep because when you are speaking to the logical analytical mind, sometimes it will sink into the subconscious and the resonance will occur and you will be better at it. So that's it. Stay tuned for the next few videos and I will see you soon. I hope you like this video. If you did subscribe to the channel, like the video to reach more people, tell me down below what will you manifest. So when it does, you will come back here and you will comment that it happened. And I will see you soon.